Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. As believers, we believe that once we have gone into the graves, once we have stepped into that realm that's between this world and between the hereafter, Allah will then resurrect us to a place that's known as Al Ard al Mahshal. The, the gathering, the place of assembly. And it's a place that the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said is flat and there's no sin on the ground, there's nothing on the ground or, or on the face of the earth except for the creation of Allah. And God would cause all of the creation to come to this one place where every creation would stand in his place. He would only be able to occupy the place that he is standing in and he would be completely stripped of all titles, completely stripped of even all clothes. Now, I know that may sound a little strange. How would it be that a person would be stripped of their clothes? And Aisha, the wife of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, she asked him, she said, Oh, Messenger of God, you know, if that's the case, wouldn't the men and the women be looking at each other? And the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, responded, Al Amru Ashaddu min dalik, that the situation is more severe than that. People are so focused on what's going on at the matter at hand that they're not even paying attention to that. And so from that, we believe that the belief that everyone would be made, made to stand as equal in the sight of God. And then Allah would call each and every single individual up to meet him. And as the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, there would be no translator. They would be, there would be no interpreter. It would just be you, your creator, and your deeds. So on the day of judgment, as Muslims, we believe you either meet the mercy of God or you meet the justice of God. <clears throat> he will not be unjust to anyone. So the first rule of the day of judgment is la bulm al yom in, in, in the Arabic language, which means there is no transgression today, no injustice today. Even the disbeliever would not have injustice committed towards them. If a person, for example, was not exposed to any form of religion whatsoever, was not exposed to Islam, was not exposed to God, had no means of accessing the truth, then that person would be forgiven on the Day of Judgment. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said that that person would stand in front of God and complain that the message never reached me, or I died as a child, or I was senile, or I wasn't, you know, I wasn't mentally capable of accepting this message. And so God would test that individual alone.